Hi, first graders. How are you today? Um, today is feeling very nice and springy out. It's so sunny. Um, and I woke up hearing the chirping of lots of birds outside. Um, and so today I chose to read a story to you called Birds. Um, and this is written by um, Kevin Henkes, who also does um, like Chrysanthemum that we read at the beginning of the year, um, Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. Normally he does lots of very, very funny stories. So this is a little bit of a different style for him, um, but it's a great book for a beautiful spring day. So this is Birds. Um, this is also illustrated by Laura Dronzek. Birds. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. That was sort of like me today, although my window wasn't open, but I could still hear them. Which always makes me wonder, how can something so small be so noisy that I can hear it inside? Mm. Birds can be yellow or blue, brown or red, or even green, I think. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Do these black birds remind you of any birds that you know about? Anyone that stands out to you? When I look at this one, well, both of them really, I can't quite tell which is which. Um, two birds that I know about that are black are um, a crow is often a black bird or a raven. So I kind of wondered if he took some inspiration from that, um, if those were supposed to be a crow or a raven. Birds can be big or small or any size in between. And I'm making a connection to this right now, readers. Um, just the other day, um, Luca and I started watching on Netflix this show called One Earth. Um, and it's all this amazing, amazing footage of animals all over the world and the oceans and in the jungle and in the rainforest. And one of the things it showed was flamingos. Um, and I had never really watched that much footage of a flamingo um, walking and moving and it was showing hundreds of thousands of them and even little baby ones being born. Um, it was a really, really neat part of the show. So maybe look for that, but it reminded me, I, I had never really thought much about flamingos um, until I saw that. Once I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move, they did, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. And I looked away for just a second. And they were gone. It can be quite quick. If birds made marks with their feathers, excuse me, if birds made mark with their tail feathers when they flew, I think the sky would look like this. I love this illustration because it's kind of making me think um, it would be a fun art project to take like markers or paints or pastels or crayons or whatever you've got. And if you could find a piece of blue paper to choose the colors of some birds and try to do some swirls and pretend that you were a bird in flight, that might be anything to do today. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this or this. Some at sunrise, some with the moon. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree can look like one leftover leaf. Can I know what kind of bird that is? It's a pretty common one. It's a cardinal. And now I'm thinking back to Mystery Doug. Remember when we were talking about the um, way that birds and animals sort of show off for each other? Do you think if this is bright red and really kind of beautiful, do you think this is the boy cardinal or the girl cardinal? Do you remember what Mystery Doug said it might be? What are you thinking? I think it's the boy. I think, remember, he said that the boys often have more, they're more colorful um, or they have brighter things, brighter feathers or this sort of like um, special part about them to try to attract the girl over to them. 
If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled. Surprise! Oh, I didn't get the story. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nest. I like this picture, sort of the same place, right? But like one version of up here on a nice sunny day, and one version down here on a rainy day. I look like the trees are the same. I can tell it's the same space because of how she did that. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. And so today, readers, I just thought that was a perfect choice for such a beautiful spring day. Um, and I would encourage you to get outside um, and maybe read. Um, sorry, one second, maybe. Oh, hold on one second. I'm telling the kids a story. When you get outside, maybe look for birds that you see. or maybe